Hey, what's going on? This is Jerry Feta, owner, founder, and CEO of Wealth Dynamics, hitting you with a quick live stream today. Good morning, good afternoon, happy Wednesday. I want to give you a heads up. I'm doing a free asset protection training tonight with Hive Law. Uh, Sean Walker is the uh, general partner, general manager of Hive Law. We're gonna be talking asset protection. So I wanted to give you really quickly two of my top asset protection strategies. We're gonna be going over this and more in the webinar. Really quickly, that's gonna be 6.30 p.m. Eastern time tonight. I'm gonna drop the registration link in the comments so you can register. But the first one is actually setting up the anonymous LLC. We're gonna talk about this this evening. You know, one of the benefits of this is anonymous LLC gives you complete protection of your assets, okay, through privacy. So if I'm trying to protect assets, I can either be really strong or I can be really hard to find. These are the two options, right? So really strong, what does that mean? It means I have a high power legal team, I'm expensive, I hire a bunch of attorneys. If anyone ever goes after my assets, I can bleed them dry through just legal costs. I've got so much going on with my legal team that they can't keep up with me. So that would be being really strong. The other one would be being very difficult to hard and hard to find, right? So through an anonymous LLC, I can actually do through a more cost effective manner protecting my assets. And the, the, the way that I would go about that is if I have a rental property, let's say, and I have a tenant and the tenant decides, hey, I sprained my ankle in the backyard, that's Jerry's fault, I wanna sue him, I wanna take him, take him for everything I've got, I can have, again, that really strong legal team where they're gonna say, great, let's, let's counter sue, let's do a bunch of stuff and rack up their billable hours so they can't keep up. That's gonna kind of, kind of cost me more money, right? That's gonna increase my costs. Or if I have an anonymous LLC, they can't find out I own the property in the first place. They say, hey, I sprained my ankle in the backyard, I wonder who owns this thing, let's sue them. Okay, we don't know who owns that thing. There's no way to find that out. So the anonymous LLC, the way that this works is it doesn't actually disclose ownership of the entity with the Secretary of State. Any other LLC that's not anonymous, when you set it up, it does. Anyone can go on and then they can find your name, they can usually find your address, your phone number right there, right? So that's the first strategy we're gonna go over tonight. The second one, one of the other ones we're gonna cover is setting up a trust, okay? This is called a revocable living trust. There's many types of trust, there's asset protection trusts. This one is more for estate planning. So if you build up assets and you don't have those assets designated to a beneficiary or owned by a trust or jointly owned, those assets are gonna go through something called probate, okay? Probate means that the court takes an inventory of all your assets, they make sure that everything is accounted for, and then they go through and they distribute them according to the will, okay? When stuff goes through probate, the average length of time that that takes is about 18 months, and the legal uh, costs and taxes associated with probate usually take up about 15% of the value of the estate. So if you pass away with $10 million in assets and those all go through probate, you're gonna pay $1.5 million in fees and it's gonna be about a year and a half before any of your kids, grandkids, charities, churches, organizations see any of those assets, right? So these are just two basic asset protection strategies we're talking about tonight. Guys, it's important to earn, it's important to save, it's important to invest, but once we own and invest in assets, we need to protect those. Okay, it is a real thing, like you do end up with a target on your back, you've got the IRS, you've got lawsuits, you've got liability, you've got legal stuff, and so it's so important to have that. Now, one of the other benefits that we're gonna to cover tonight on the webinar is having this done in a way that's organized, okay, and having it done with a team that can help. Okay, I've done this myself and it's very difficult, it's very complicated, and I recently, for my own assets, started working with Hive Law, who's doing the webinar with me, and I'll tell you what, having a legal team there to make sure that things are done correctly, it's staying organized, things are being tracked, that takes a load off of my back. Okay, and the other thing that that does is it gives me the ability to call and talk to my team and say, hey, what should we do here? What's the strategy? I've got a call uh, with, with my attorney with Hive Law coming up soon, and it's gonna be about setting up a public charity. Right, like different strategies. So it's important to have the right team, it's important to have the guidance, it's important to have the organization all along with the structure. So I wanna invite you to tune in again, 6.30 p.m. Eastern time tonight, February 5th, 15th. Uh, that's gonna be in the link here in the comments. Down below, you can click that to register. We will be posting the replay if you miss it. Protect your assets, I'll see you there.